Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to install a non-Steam Windows game on a PC running on Linux based Bazite operating system. I'll be installing Prey 2017 on my ROG Ally. It's the GOG version of the game. I've downloaded the game's set of files from GOG's website. We'll also show you how to manually install an update for the game, flash a registry file, how to find the game's configuration and save file locations on Linux. We'll end the video by showing you how to completely remove the game from your PC. Before I show you the process, we'll install the prerequisite software. Open Discover Store, search for Proton Tricks, install it. Very handy application, has many uses. Now just search for Proton Up Qt. I'll be using it to download G Proton compatibility layer. I'll be using the latest version of G Proton. I've already downloaded it. Launch it. Click on Add version here. Click on the drop down bar below compatibility tool and select G Proton. Click on the drop down bar below version and select the latest version. At the time of recording this video it's version 10-4. I have already installed it. You just need to click on install here. Make sure your PC is connected to an internet connection. File will be downloaded and installed automatically. Now I'll be installing the game. Select the games setup.exe file. Right click. Select this option add to steam. Now start steam. Restart it. Open your Steam library. Look for the game setup file. There it is. Select it. Click on the settings cog here. Click on properties. Click on compatibility. Check this option. Force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. Click on the drop down bar here. And look for G Proton version 10 4. The version that you installed. Close this window. Click on play. Setup wizard will start. There you go, click on OK. Setup wizard started. I'll change the game's install directory. Click on options here. Click on browse next to the game's directory. Now the C drive directory here is the compile data directory for our non-steam windows game. I'll cover the compile data directory in the later part of the video. I'll just install the game on my LS internal storage, which is represented by Z drive. I'll show you the real directory first. Open Dolphin File Explorer home in this directory i have created a folder named games there it is i'll be installing the game here go back to the game setup wizard open z drive open home folder open the folder whose name is the same as your pc's username now look for the games folder folder that you have created there it is yeah this is the directory which corresponds to this directory in the background the directory that I created ok here it will show the free space and the required space final directory yes I'll just install the game wait for the setup process to complete the game has been installed do not launch it from here just click on exit open the directory where you install the game open dolphin file explorer home games there's the games install folder we just need to find the game's main exe file that launches it we need to add it to our steam library in the case of prey open binaries folder daniel folder x64 gog folder release folder there's the game's main exe file prey.exe select it right click select this option copy location now I won't be creating a separate steam entry for this exe file. What I am going to do is replace the existing game setup steam entry with prey.exe steam entry. Just open your steam library. Select paste setup.exe entry. There it is. Click on the settings cog here. Click on properties. Click on shortcut. In the target bar we need to select the complete target directory. But do not select the double inverted comma at the start and at the end start from here right click paste this is the game's main exe file that we want to execute present in this directory as you can see double inverted commas are present at the start and at the end very important now we need to specify the start in directory select the existing directory right click paste forward slash should be present at the start and at the end Remove the exe file. This is the directory. 
notable inverted commas are present at the start and at the end only forward slashes are present just change the name of this team entry to pray name of your game using the same compatibility layer g proton 10-4 we are done here now i'll be adding artwork to the game this step is optional i'll be using boiler to automatically add the images a one time setup process is required for using boiler i have already shown it we'll drop the video link in the description you can download boiler for free from discover store there it is settings just need to provide this api key which you can obtain from steam grid tv import games click on this icon images will get downloaded and installed automatically done importing games close exit from steam restart it to apply the changes steam restarted here yeah, the artwork has been applied for every windows game or application installed on linux platform a compar data directory is created this directory includes the windows c drive directory that contains folders like my documents program files users etc etc these folders generally contain a game's local configuration as save files i will be showing you how to obtain pre save files in the later part of the video if you have installed a steam game its compar data folder name will be the same as its steam id will be the same for every user but this is not the case for a non steam windows application or game name will vary from user to user but you can find it very easily using proton tricks i'll just find the compar data folder name for pre open proton tricks launch it this window will pop up it will show all of the games and applications installed on your linux based pc there is the entry for pre non steam shortcut and this is the name of its compar data folder and switch 7 to 6 okay now i'll show you how to manually update the game install its update these are the games patch files that are downloaded from gog store i just need to execute this exe file i have placed these patch files in this directory home username downloads pre patch i'll be executing this exe file using proton tricks launch it select your game in my case it's pre okay wait for the next window to pop up can take around 7 to 8 seconds now check this option select the default wine breaks click on okay check this option run explorer click on okay in this window will pop up navigate to a directory where the patches exe file is present in my case it's c drive home username folder downloads folder pre patch folder just need to select the patches exe file there it is double click it started click on okay okay the update was already applied you can launch the game from here as well i'll just exit it switch to gaming mode launch the game from here play using my cosmic vest to launch the game pack connected to ally by bluetooth mode here yeah, the game started performance game settings only level set to 2 we are enable frame limit 120 in game settings 900p resolution we sync off setting set to medium anti aliasing sma effects enable how right we are in all the game is running so smoothly 80 to 90 fps i'll just create a save file save game create new save yeah it's done now i'll show you how to access this save file local saves switch to desktop mode In order to get to know about a game's configuration and save game locations, just search for the game on PC Gaming Wiki website. I just search for Pre 2017, and this information popped up for the GOG version of the game. The game's configuration files are present in this directory, User Profile folder, which is present in C drive of Windows. Save game files are present in this directory, again User Profile folder. On Linux, this Windows C drive directory is present in the game's Compar Data directory. As explained earlier, I'll just use Proton Tricks to find the Compar Data folder name for my non-Steam Windows game. Pre name ends with the number seven to six. Now I'll show you the directory where this Compar Data folder is present. Open Dolphin File Explorer. Click on Home. Open .dot local folder. If this folder is not visible on your PC, click on the hamburger icon here and check this setting. Show hidden files. 
open share folder open steam folder open steam apps folder open compa data folder you can create a quick access shortcut for this directory right here under places section right click anywhere in the blank area and click on add to places i have already done that now just look for the compa data folder corresponding to your nas the windows game and there it is for play ends with 7 to 6 now just open pfx folder open drive c folder yeah here you can see the program files folder but we need to open the users folder there it is open steam user folder open saved game folders arcane studios play games configuration files are present here save games game save files are present here see if you have save files for this game on another pc you can just copy them from there and paste them here now you will be able to continue the game from the same point where you left off last time now i'll show you how to execute a registry file for your game i'll be executing this registry file enable signature override run proton tricks select your non steam windows game play in my case click on okay check this option select the default wine pricks click on okay check this option run registered click on okay this window will pop up and just click on registry here click on import registry file navigate to the desktop z drive open home folder open the folder that has the same name as your pc's username open desktop folder there's the registry file enable signature override click on open click on okay that's it we are often required to execute registry file while installing some mods close the windows i'll also show you how to add a launch option to the game process is very simple select the game in your steam library click on the settings cog here click on properties and a launch option add the line of text now i'll show you how to completely remove the game from your pc and just remove its steam entry first right click manage remove non steam game from your library now just delete the games compa data folder go to the compa data directory i have already created a shortcut for it there is the folder select it delete it delete permanently now just delete the games install files go to the directory where you install the game games play size 25 gb select the folder permanently delete it there you go that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day